Hello friends, please join me at the top of your mat in a mountain posture. Centering in in this moment, taking a good breath in through your nose and releasing it back out your nose. This is a class full of movement today, slowly at first, and then we'll start moving faster. And so at any time, if needed, return to a mountain posture or any posture where you can catch your breath and then rejoin as you are ready. So beginning, let's inhale our arms up overhead and then we'll hinge forward in a forward fold. So let's halfway lift. Hinging forward, step or hop back to a plank. Lowering and pushing up through Cobra. Take a good breath here. And then tucking our toes, downward facing dog. Pedal it out a couple times. And then we'll step or hop forward back to our forward fold. And one vertebrae at a time coming up to a mountain posture. Hands at a heart center. Lord God, we thank you for these good bodies. Bless us as we move them today. Remembering that it is in you that we live, move, and have our being. Hinging forward once again into a forward fold. Coming up to a halfway lift. Hands back down to the floor, step or hop back to a plank. Follow through all the way up into our cobra posture. And then tucking the toes for a downward facing dog. Pedal it out here, perhaps exaggerating the movement with the shoulders. Joel chapter three, verse 11. The Lord utters his voice before his army, for his camp is exceedingly great. He who executes his word is powerful. For the day of the Lord is great and very awesome. Who can endure it? I love this passage because it is reminding us that we are a part of God's army, but it is not through weapons of the world that we fight. It is by living God's word, staying strong in who God invites us to be as people of love and justice and reconciliation. Let's step or hop forward back to our forward fold. And then rising back up into our mountain, closing your eyes here for a moment, take a couple breaths. We're really gonna get starting moving here. And so I invite you to remember that as we strengthen and stretch our bodies, this is important, but it is a reminder that our ultimate strength, our ultimate foundation, our, our real ability to impact the world for good is by our connection to God by following God's ways, by living out God's word. Let's hinge forward once again, forward fold. Coming up for a halfway lift. Forward fold and step or hop back to a plank. Push up and then come into our cobra. Downward facing dog and then releasing our right foot up off the floor. We're gonna step it all the way up and through, rising up, turning our back left foot out about 90 degrees. So our right foot is facing the top of the mat, left foot out, straightening both legs, just a little micro bend in the knees if needed. Here's gonna be the flow we're going to go through a couple times. We're gonna start with our triangle. So dropping our right hand down toward our right foot, left arm comes up, engaging the core. Take a breath here. And then we're gonna begin adding a bend into the front right knee to come into our side angle here. So one of the postures that is so beautiful out of our warrior two. And then we're going to inhale our arms up parallel into that warrior two. And then drop in the back hand, raising up the front hand for our reverse warrior. We then unbend our front knee coming into our reverse triangle, as I like to call it. So right from that reverse warrior back toward that triangle posture, front hand still up. And then we drop the front arm down toward the right foot, left arm comes up back to the triangle. So there's our flow, friends. Triangle through warrior back to the reverse triangle and then back to triangle again. 
So let's flow through that one more time now. So adding a bend into the front knee for our extended side angle, you can extend the arms out overhead if you would like. Inhaling up to warrior two. Coming back to our reverse warrior, back hand comes down, front hand up, fighting against gravity. Unbending the front knee, keeping the arms where they're at. And then allowing our front arm to drop back, left hand to come up into triangle. And then allowing our knee to bend once again, we bring both hands down to the mat, stepping our front foot back to meet the left for our down dog. Just a couple of breaths here. Now you can intensify or lessen these postures by adding more bend to the front knee, stepping your feet a little wider apart, or bringing them together will lessen it a little bit, lessening the bend in the knee. And so we're gonna flow through this now on the other side, and then a couple more times through on both sides. So maintain your breath, inhaling through the nose, exhaling back out coming back to mountain or down dog as needed and then rejoining when you are ready. So with that, let's now step our left foot up to the top of the mat, coming up, turning our back foot out 90 degrees, that right foot, and we're going to bring left hand down toward left foot, releasing the right hand up for our triangle, engaging the core, adding a bend into the front knee for our side angle, Inhaling up to warrior two, hands now parallel to the floor, keep that core engaged. With the next exhale, coming into a reverse warrior, dropping the back hand, raising up the front. Unbending the front knee now, coming back to that triangle, to that reverse triangle. And then with your next exhale, we'll drop the front left hand, raising the back right, coming back to that triangle. Good job, friends. Keep breathing here. It's tempting to hold the breath or lose the breath. Keep that focus on the inhales and the exhales. One more time through now, adding a bend into the front knee, coming into that side angle. Inhaling up to warrior two, arms parallel to the floor, front knee still bent. Dropping the back right hand, raising up the front left for our reverse warrior unbending the front right knee so both legs are straight now micro bend in the knee is needed keeping the hands how they are and then with the exhale dropping the front left hand now in the back right coming back to that triangle and then bringing hands back to parallel we will step up to the top of the mat couple breaths here perhaps closing your eyes feeling all four corners of your feet rooted on the mat. You might be sweating at this point, that's okay, catch your breath. And as we go through this series a second time, honor where your body's at, listen well, notice the feeling. Just be fully present right here. And may the Lord remind us that our ultimate strength comes from God and the ways of God. One more good inhale through the nose. Just lengthening that exhale back out the nose. Nice and slow here. And then we're going to step our left foot back, turning that left foot out 90 degrees. And then dropping the front right hand, raising up the left. We're going to go through a little quicker now. Adding a bend to the front right knee, keeping the arms how they are. Inhaling up to warrior two now, arms parallel, front knee still bent. Exhale to reverse warrior, back hand drops, front hand comes up. Unbending the front knee, coming into that reverse triangle. And keeping that core engaged, we allow the right arm to go down, left to come up, back to the triangle. And then we begin to move through it again, adding a bend in the front right knee, keeping the arms how they are. Rising up to warrior two, keeping that front knee bent, arms parallel. Exhale to reverse warrior. Unbending the front right knee to reverse triangle. And then sending the right arm down, left arm up, back to triangle. Find your breath if you've lost it. 
one more time through, adding a bend to that front right knee, rising up to warrior two, reverse warrior, unbend that front knee for that triangle, and then arms back to parallel, we'll step forward back to our mountain posture. Couple of breaths here, and then we'll switch to the other side once again. Inhaling through the nose, really using that diaphragm, sending that breath down toward the belly, toward the bottom ribs, using that muscle there, and then a nice slow exhale back out the nose. And then we'll step our right foot back, turning it out 90 degrees now. Front left arm drops down to left foot, right arm comes up, engage the core. Add a bend to the front knee, keeping the arms where they are. Keep that core engaged. Inhale up to warrior two. Exhale to reverse warrior. Unbending the knee, rising up, keeping the arms how they are. And then dropping the left arm down, right arm comes up. A couple more times through, adding a bend to the front knee. Inhaling up to warrior two. Exhaling to reverse warrior. Unbending the knee to reverse triangle. And reaching back. And then sending the left arm down, right arm up to our triangle. Good inhale through the nose here. And then with an exhale out the nose one more time through, adding a bend to the front knee. Coming up to warrior two, reverse warrior, unbending the knee for that reverse triangle, and then arms coming back to parallel, we'll step back to mountain, and then hinge forward in a forward fold, adding as much bend into the knees here as needed to come down to seated and then laying all the way back onto your back for our final resting posture. Way to go, friend, you did it. Now, if you need a little bit more workout here, then just go right back up to that flow or find some good rest here, letting everything just lay heavy on the mat, eyes closed, releasing tension from your jaw, your shoulders and hands, perhaps allowing your feet just to fall open to either side. Lord God, we thank you for these good bodies you've given us. We thank you that your day is great and awesome, and we can endure it not because of how strong we are, but because of how much love you have for us. Lord, may we remember that all of our strength comes from you that the ways we live in the world are based on your ways. Forgive us when we've walked in directions that are not yours. Guide us back onto your path for your kingdom, glory, and honor. Amen. Friend, remain resting here for as long as you need. Thank you for joining me in this class today. Blessings as you go forth into the rest of your day. Grace and peace be with you. Hey friends, thanks for joining us today as we connected with God through movement and prayer. Remember, making daily time with God a priority in your life is one of the best ways to grow in your faith. Now, if you enjoyed this class, we'd like to offer you access to our free video, Flowing with the Holy Spirit. Now, this is a part of our Getting in Sync with the Holy Spirit program as a part of our Ruas Base memberships. It's a flow that will connect your movement with your breath as you stretch your mind, body, and spirit. So if you want access to the video, just click on the link below, drop in your name and your email, and we'll send it right away to you. And please feel free to leave a comment with other classes and practices that you'd like to see. And please like it and share it if you enjoyed it and think that someone else could be encouraged or helped by the video. And of course, subscribe so that you can be notified and practice with us with all the new videos that we're adding all the time that help you make space for God in your life. 
So remember to click on the link below and we'll see you in the next class. Grace and peace.